More and more kids are flipping out over parkour or free running. Most parents fear it's not safe. So in tonight's special report, Wally Alliou shows us why this edgy sport is growing by leaps and bounds in the Miami Valley. Most of your kids know about parkour and free running from a simple YouTube search. You'll find hundreds of videos with millions of views where free runners are flying off of anything and everything, and most of the time, they stick the landing. Parkour is getting from one place to another as creatively and as efficiently as you can. 15-year-old Dustin Hayes says he's been doing parkour for a few years and has posted a few videos himself. I'm trying to really not impress people anymore with it. It's just a passion for me. A passion he and his friends indulge anytime they can. It's just fun to do. If I see something like an element that I could do something off of, I'm just like, oh, I can go do a backflip or a front flip off of that. Most people can't do that. So I took that challenge with this simple jump. That's easy. <laughs> but then these daredevils wanted to take it up a notch. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that one. <laughs> but with so much free dumb in these free runs, that could have been really ugly. <laughs> we had to ask if they worry about their safety. Yeah, I'd say it's dangerous, depending on what you're doing and depending on how much experience you have. If you're a person that doesn't have a lot of common sense and you're just going to go out and jump off a two-story building, you're probably going to hurt yourself. But if you start to think about things a little more, then anyone can do it. It's as dangerous as football, I'd say. Dustin says he used to do dangerous stunts. I used to give my mom heart attacks every time I did something. But his parents convinced him to stay within his lane. Pulling up YouTube videos and things like that, and you start imitating those in the backyard. Part of me is a parent that wants to just say, I don't think this is a good idea, please stop. But he's also very talented, and we continue to have an ongoing discussion with him about what is safe, what isn't safe, how to respect per, uh, public property. Dustin's parents say they like to take him to this hand-to-hand -hand gym in Springboro. It offers classes for freestyle gymnastics. We see his love for doing things like this and we just want to help him to do it responsibly. Hand to hand based their classes on an AAU freestyle acrobatics program. B-boy breakdance. You have martial art tricking. You have jumping from item to item. You have uh, some traditional gymnastics like tumbling bars. That national AAU competition originated in Ohio. That was a good one. There you go. And Coach Jessup hopes to get his guys trained enough to compete against the nation's best. They see it on YouTube instead of just trying to do it and then finding out after they crash it's hard <laughs> to actually learn some developmental steps. As Dustin's parents watch him from afar. Flips and the jumping. He enjoys that and we enjoy watching him mm -hmm. enjoy it. Yeah, that's know? where he's at home. Dustin says there's only one way to get good at defying gravity. Lots of time, practice, and injuries. <laughs> you got to learn how to land on your head. This place is a lot softer, and when you land on your head, it doesn't hurt as much. In Springboro, Wale Alley, ABC 22 News. Dustin's talented, and Wale, I'm going to have to start calling you Spider Man. Dustin says besides some scrapes and bruises and trips to the chiropractor, he's been able to stay relatively healthy. If you want to learn more about this AAU freestyle acrobatics program and how you can compete, find this story on our website, fox45now.com.